Owen, welcome to Doncaster Rovers. How pleased are you to make this move? Yeah, no, buzzing. Um, obviously, it's been something I've been kind of pushing for and something I wanted. Um, so now I'm, I'm delighted to be here and finally get it sorted. Why Doncaster Rovers? Why is that the right club for you? Um, a lot of things, really. Um, I think the biggest one is obviously I, I came in two years ago on trial. Um, got a really good feel for the place. Um, obviously, I uh, kind of got to meet cops and, and, and people, people around the club then. And I think it's obviously it's obviously a big club. And you look at the stadium and the training ground and everything. It's a um, it's a really big club and it's uh, perfect for my development. I think. Um, so when the manager rang us, it was a one of them where I just wanted to get it done. Really, um, everything he said was kind of the same as how I feel about football and obviously about getting promoted. So um, yeah, no, it was uh, it was a no-brainer really. How did he sell it to you, Grant? Uh, it didn't take much, to be fair. Um, you know, obviously having known the club and stuff, um, but he just said, obviously we're hard working and, and we want to kind of excite people and get promoted. Um, you know, and obviously give us some specifics about my position and kind of where he seen me fitting. And um, everything he said was basically exactly how I want to play and how I kind of can impact teams. So um, yeah, no, it was really good. A couple of years on from that. That trial, obviously the club made a bit of an impression on you in that time, but how much have you developed in those last couple of years? Yeah, a lot. Um, obviously that would have been my first kind of introduction into senior football. So, um, you know, obviously I had to go to Gateshead and, and had great two years there, won the league and, you know, had a, had a decent season last season, ended up playing at Wembley. So, um, obviously being there was amazing and got a chance to meet some great people. But like you say there, when I, when I was here two years ago, I kind of knew it was something that I was striving for and... Um, some, somewhere that I really wanted to be, so um, I think I kind of had my heart set on the club for a long time, really. Two seasons of, of regular football at senior level, that would have been massive for you. Yeah, huge. Um, I think obviously I was at Newcastle 15 years and um, kind of fizzled out there and um, obviously had to go and prove myself in the senior game and Gator was the perfect club for that. Um, so I'm very thankful for them, but obviously now I feel like I've kind of done the, the hard work and done the sort of proving yourself at senior level and it's about kind of kicking on now and showing what I can do. How exciting are you for that step up into the EFL? Yeah, I can't wait. Um, obviously having played in kind of the Checker Trade Trophy and um, well, what it was called then and um, played against the teams and played at some of the stadiums, you know, it's obviously uh, massive and kind of where you want to be. So um, obviously I'm looking forward to me first kind of EFL game and, and really excited to get going. You feel ready for it? Yeah, definitely. What type of player can Rovers, expect, Rovers fans expect then when you get on the pitch? Um, hard working, I think, um, you know, good in the air and, and a bit of a battle midfielder and someone who really likes to get the ball and play but also likes doing the hard stuff, you know, the tackling and, and getting stuck in and being a real physical presence and um, I think that's something that I can definitely add to the group and add to the team. It sounds like you fit right in with what, what Grant wanted when he, when he explained things to you. Yeah, definitely. I think that's kind of what he said, you know, like he needs kind of physical players and people who can kind of Im impact the game and impose themselves. And um, I think obviously that with my style of play being like that, I think that's kind of the way that it'll be. What are your expectations for, for the coming season then, both for yourself and, and the team as a whole? Uh, well, obviously, the, the big thing is getting promoted, isn't it? Um, I think straight away, as soon as I spoke to the gaffer, everything was about promotion. Um, so from now till end of the season, I'm sure everything's going to be geared towards getting promoted and um, I'm, I'm obviously hopeful we can do that. Um, but obviously, like I say, there's no kind of given right to be to be able to get promoted, so you've got to work hard and um, obviously you've, you've, the gaffer has recruited players who are who have got um, previous promotions and have been involved in promoted teams, so um, I think obviously if everyone gets together and everyone blends, I think it'll be a successful year. I'm going to ask you actually in terms of what have you made to the, the business that's been done already and obviously there'll be a few people here that you, you remember from your time here a couple of years ago. Yeah, no, well obviously it's uh, from, from kind of the outside looking in, the recruitment's been really good and obviously it's been great to see obviously Jamie Sterry who I know really well has uh, signed and uh, Luke Molyneux who uh, I've, I've kind of played with and know before and a few of the lads who were here but obviously when I was on trial so um, it'd be good to see them and kind of be back with them but um, yeah, all good lads and all good players as well which is the most important thing really. Building a nice little northeast contingent there. Yeah, no, we're getting out. I think me, Luke, and Jamie will be um, car, car schooling when we're going back home or whatever. But um, yeah, no, they're good. And obviously, we kind of know what it's all about being down here. It's quite northern itself, the club, isn't it? So I think everyone kind of knows that the northern people are hard working and everyone knows what to expect from them. Only a few weeks away from returning for pre season. I imagine you'll be itching to get going. Yeah, can't wait now. Um, obviously, it's been a kind of long off season and. Um, 
you know, it seems like last week I was playing at Wembley, so it still went quite quickly, to be honest. But, um, you know, the days can drag, and obviously I just want to get playing again now. Like, as much as you enjoy your time off, you just want to be playing. So, uh, can't wait to be back, can't wait to get started.